Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. We're so pleased to have on the show the lead singer uh, and songwriter for the incredible hit rock band Foreigner. Kelly Hanson, thanks for joining the show. Thank you. Happy to be here. You know, it, it's hard to believe this, Kelly, and you're going to have to fill us in, but uh, you guys are going to be kicking off the, uh, the historic farewell tour that is going to be starting uh, in July of this year and going on for right. two years. Now, I, right. I, I must have read that wrong. <laughs> no, you, you read that right. Starting July 6th in Atlanta, uh, we're uh, with Loverboy, and that's the beginning of our uh, farewell tour. Uh, but we'll be playing, you know, before that and after that uh, and into 2024. Um, in fact, we're going to be playing at the Venetian for a residency starting March 24th to April 8th. But the official summer tour package with Live Nation farewell tour starts on July 6th. And it's yeah, the truth. I, I was going to bring that up to where, you know, the, the goal uh, with Foreigner is to try and hit all of the cities that you guys have played over the years. And you have been with Foreigner for 18 years now. Yeah, and I don't think we'll be able to get to everywhere. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's that's a tough job, right? I mean, I mean, it's, it's wow. That that would be a lot. Uh, that'd be something. Well, you know, and I thought it was so exciting too, Kelly. With uh, you know, and and Foreigner as a band, you guys have always done a lot for charities and done a lot of involvement. But you're working with the uh, Grammy Museum Foundation again, and I found it very interesting that in every city you go to, you're going to be having a choir the local choir, you know, compete to perform with you guys on stage. Yeah, actually, what we're going to do it, at each uh, market during the, the tour that starts on July 6th, we're going to have uh, several choirs open the show before Loverboy, and one of them will be voted the winner, and that winner will receive a prize from our partner, Bose. They'll get an L1 uh, PA system, and all of the choirs will get a donation. And it's our way of kind of raising awareness about the lack of funding for school music programs. So smart, you know, and, and Bose, I mean, they've been partnering with you guys for a long time. And yep. I've certainly played through my uh, uh, enough of the L1s. It's like they sound great. So I'm wearing Bose right now. You see, what, there you go. It's like, but what a, what a great thing for you guys with Foreigner to do that, uh, to help out and shine a light on the local community music. Because like we all know, it's like, you know, you got to start it with the kids. They got to start young as, as we all did. And I think that's incredible that you guys are doing that with the Grammy Museum Foundation. Yeah, that, that go to foreignerchoirs.com to check that out. And all you know, I'm a product of uh, the the public school system and the public school music system. And um, it's unfortunate to think that those programs are being cut because music and the arts are really kind of one of the things that helps make a well-rounded person expands their horizons, mm -hmm. shows them worlds that they may not have known exist in maybe their small town. Right. You you are so right. And and uh, same for me. It's like you know, it's just. Music always enriches and I think makes, uh, you know, just better people. And it's a great experience. And obviously you're having a ton of fun, you know, performing, you know, with Foreigner and, uh, and, you know, obviously being the lead singer and working on songs with Mick Jones and everything else. And as you mentioned too, with, uh, with Loverboy opening up for you guys for the first leg of the tour with Mike Reno and the guys, that's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of hits between both of you. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of hits on stage and, and that'll, that is going to be fun. And, uh, it, it's going to, it's going to be bittersweet and, and I don't know how I'm going to react to it. Um, I'm already kind of starting to feel the first waves where people I'm talking to interviewers and they're saying, you know, thank you and goodbye. And I'm like, wow, what? Oh, you know, that's just, just such a trippy thing. So, well, you know, so the first thing that went through my mind too on it, Kelly, it's like with you guys have so many, uh, hit songs. I mean, just, you know, incredible hits that I, I think are the fabric of our lives that, you know, you heard on radio so much you know with with urgent and i want to know what love is and all these that you have to perform at all these shows but also i enjoy the acoustic versions are you guys going to try and do a mix of that because i know on some of the albums you've done that as well what's the plan kelly yeah that is kind of one of one of the things that we're talking about um uh, because we want to do some different special things um but you know sometimes you're limited by curfews or things like that and Right. Uh, so sometimes you say, well, we want to do this, but that means taking out a hit. So it's a good problem to have. <laughs> and and we'll uh, we'll be sorting through that to, to make it something special. I, I, I truly believe we're going to have some really good, interesting stuff this year. And because things are going to evolve. People are going to come around and in and out. And, you know, we're going to have guests, I think. And, you know, it's going to be very interesting. I was going to ask you that because, I mean, you know, uh, with playing all these different cities and, and, you know, selling out all these venues, which you guys always do. In fact, I got to congratulate you uh, last year 
uh, you know, with uh, with uh, New York uh, State Fairgrounds, you know, selling at thirty eight thousand something people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah We've had fun at the New York State Fairs for sure. <laughs> so it's like you guys definitely kicked off twenty twenty two. Right. And, uh, yeah. you know, with all I mean, you know, being one of Billboard's, you know, top, you know, rock bands of all times, it's like you guys have continued to deliver. And, and w- once again, for me, it's like, how do you pick the songs, Kelly, you know, for that night? Obviously, you got to hit a certain amount of, of hits, but I like some of the deeper cuts, and I'm sure a lot of the other fans do, too. You, you know, it's true. And, and in fact, um, there's a song called I Don't Want to Live Without You that was a pretty big hit for the band. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the thing is, we're already doing two really huge ballads during the show. So right. it's like, ha- so it's, it's, it's like I said, it's a good problem to have. It's an amazing catalog of songs that I've been grateful and fortunate to participate in with wonderful bandmates and wonderful audiences. It's going to be very tough to think of that not happening in, in the same way anymore. I mean, we, we tour uh, about nine months a year, and that's been happening solidly for almost 20 years. Right. And, but I'm looking forward to having time with my my friends and family and spend time with my wife and and kind of figure out where the rest of my life is going and and um and i hope people understand and that they're i want to be very clear i i i have so much gratitude for all the people who have supported this band over the decades and have been there uh unrelentingly and uh and i i just i just love that and i and i uh i i want to honor that by not continuing to go on in a way where I can't perform these songs the way they need to be deserved. It's really hard to sing these songs. Oh and my gosh. Harder, yeah, I was going to ask you. Every year. Yeah, it gets harder you know, every year. Because I mean, the, the range, Kelly, and your range is incredible. I certainly remember uh, you playing with Hurricane and your other bands in the past that I always enjoyed. But I mean, it's, it's the, the range of these songs is not easy on anybody. And you've been able to accomplish this for almost 20 years now. And yeah, like you are, said, I mean, are, you, you know, it's hard. These these are hard songs to sing when you're young, and I'm I'm going to be 62 in a month, and um and and I it seems like I have to give up something every year in order to maintain the status quo of my vocal quality and and I I I do that and I get it and I appreciate it but I don't want to be in a position where I where I've seen other musicians where I look at them or I see a show and I kind of I kind of go wow you know that's yeah. really disappointing I, I I have no desire for that I have no need to do that I don't. I don't uh, crave somehow the spotlight or adulation or something that m- makes me do it way beyond where I should. I mm-hmm. want this band to go out on top with these songs being strong and the, and the delivery being strong and that be the memory, not, not something lesser than it should be. Well, and I think you and Mick and, and the entire band are such A-list players to where it's, it's not like, you know, when Foreigner wraps things up in, in a, you know, two years after the historic farewell tour, you're not going to stop doing music, Kelly. It's like, you know, it's part of you. I mean, you're a lo- young 62, so it's not <laughs> like you're ever going to stop, you know, performing and writing and doing music. It's just going to be a shift. Well, you know, I just don't know what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do first is um, take a break, stop, smell the roses, and, and um, get with my family and decide what our next phase is and, mm-hmm. and, see, and see what comes, you know. I'm just trying to trust my gut here. I think it's very smart, and um, I'm sure there's going to be some uh, very cool merch coming out also for this, you know, historic farewell farewell tour. So you're going to have, you know, T-shirts, hats, all that kind of cool stuff available, which, you know, I, I think fans are going to want. Yeah, the team is the team is working on all of that right now, and, and I'm sure there'll be some really great stuff. How many how many uh, people have you had guest wise, Kelly, reach out? And when you're coming to their city, already want to jump on stage with you guys, because I mean, so many people, I mean, and I got to bring this up, you know, not to make you feel bad, but it's like, how many movies, TV shows, commercials, and everything else are the foreigner songs in now? It seems like everywhere I turn, there's, there's another foreigner song. You know, yeah, there, so has, th- there has been a lot. And I think that that's one of the reasons why we're seeing a lot of younger people at the shows, as I have been for the last at least 10 years. Because mm-hmm. I know if an eight-year-old's coming to the show and they're singing the words, it's not, they're not here because their parents dragged them. They're, they're here because right. they, they want to see the band. And that's been an incredible thing. You know, I had a very proud father moment. I think it was last year to where my, uh, my 16-year-old daughter is, uh, you know, is, is listening to Foreigner. And I'm going, yes, because <laughs> I saw him in concert back in the 90s. It's like going, this is the music I grew up on. And, you know, and songs like Jukebox Hero where she's singing along. I mean, right. they're just great songs, like you mentioned, from the ballads, but also the rockin' songs, you know, and, right. and, you know, you've got such a huge list of hits 
and with 10 platinum albums. Well, you know, I think that it, credit goes to Mick and to Lou and um, the, when you listen to the songs from the early eras of the band, you really notice that the arrangements and the construction of the songs was really uh, top notch. And uh, it, this was done by not only the musicians, but the engineers and the producers who uh, were, were top of their uh, game professionally and people who had spent decades uh, honing their craft and being really good at what they do, as opposed to someone who's like just making a record in their bedroom, you had a collaboration of just top notch people. And I think it shows mm -hmm. in the final product. And especially, I love the parts, the arrangement parts are so incredible. And you, so you got to hand it to, 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 to Mick on all that. I totally agree. And, and you know, Mick Jones is also in the, uh, in the songwriter hall of fame as well, you know, and, and I know you guys collaborate. I'm looking forward to hearing some of the uh, songs done more acoustically, like you've done on albums, because I think you can really tell how a song holds up then. Yeah, you're right. When you break it down to its most basic elements, that's where a song's quality is revealed for sure. And uh, if it can stand up to that, it's it shows it shows what it really is. Well, you know, and I know you guys are going to be playing, you know, show sold out tours, Kelly, wherever you go this year. As you mentioned, you've got the residency at the Venetian starting off in March, going into April, and then you're kicking off, you know, the historic farewell tour for a foreigner, which is going to start in July. Uh, I believe you're going to be here in Nashville this year also, besides yeah. all over the, the country and all over the world eventually. I want to make yeah. sure for the website and everything, Kelly, where should our viewers go so they can know when you're coming to their city, they can check everything out. You know, I know all the, uh, the CDs, the albums, the merch and everything is available too. Yeah, well, you know, well, foreigneronline.com uh, is where we are. But if you want to go to the Venetian, you have to go to the Venetian's website. If you want to talk about uh, any of the uh, summer tour stuff with Loverboy, that's Live Nation or Ticketmaster for sure. Well, it's going to be very exciting, Kelly. I can't wait to see you uh, singing all these live. Your vocals, uh, I think you just keep getting better. So whatever you're dropping off is working because you still <laughs> sound just as great. You know, so, oh, so just you. don't give up the coffee or anything like that. <laughs> That's close. That's next. <laughs> don't do it. Well, Kelly Hansen, lead singer for Foreigner. So great to have you on the show. Can't wait to see you live and hear these incredible songs. Thank you so much. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.